Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton with Bike198, and today we are going to talk about a tip that I use to ride smoother and faster downhill. So let's get at it. So this is one tip that I've been using since almost the beginning of my riding. And that is, when it comes to technical downhills and descents, if I want to get smoother and faster, I typically put in earphones and listen to music. But I would do it a very specific way that has very specific benefits and doesn't get in the way of my riding. So let's go into the details of how I set that up. So why does listening to music actually help when it comes to being smoother and faster on downhill runs? First, it smoothens out the trail some. There are many times when I'm riding a downhill where I'm hearing way too much feedback from the trail, whether it be a rock, leaf, root. I make adjustments that I shouldn't be doing because I'm getting input from the trail from my ears that I shouldn't be listening to. There are many times during my rides where I kill momentum by just making those adjustments. So when I have music in my ear and you only hear half of that amount of input from the trail, you're not making those same adjustments and killing your momentum. It's a huge deal when you're dealing with timed runs or you're trying to just ride smoother or faster. So on this subject, I really can base this purely on personal experience. While I have talked to other riders that set things up very similar to the way I do and they have found this to help them as well, this is how I set this up and how it actually helps me out on the trail. I have heard of people talking about how they sing a song to themselves in their head or something along those lines. That doesn't work for me. It doesn't get some of these fringe benefits that I'm going to talk about with when you actually put earphones in. So the second and most obvious is music can just get you in the zone. It's no different than my son here in ACDC Thunderstruck as he goes up to the plate for his baseball games. It just gets you amped up. I even went as far as to make a playlist on Spotify with some of my favorite songs from the mountain biking videos that I've loved over the years. There's just something about adding that music to the element that actually just gets you a little bit more amped up, gets you a little bit more confidence, and maybe convinces you to do things you might not have done otherwise. So how do I set up my listening experience for optimal results out on the trail? First, do not be that guy. You know, the one that puts in earphones and has them blaring so loud that he's going up a climb and you can't hear the people behind you? Or how about the guy that actually just puts a JBL speaker on his backpack and blares his music for everyone to hear, like we want to listen to the exact same song he is at that point in time. No one wants to be that guy. Just be considerate out on the trail so you're not an asshole to everyone else around you. So what is my setup? I use the Apple AirPod Pros. There are very specific reasons for that. First, I use an iPhone, so it's incredibly easy to set up. Two, with these AirPod Pros, they are noise canceling, but they have another great feature to them that lets in ambient noise. Yes, most noise canceling headphones have this, but the AirPods Pros fit great in my ears and don't fall out, and they're easy to set up on the phone when it comes to that ambient noise. And there's a very specific reason why this works so well. I do not want to get rid of all trail noise. I only want to get rid of the portions I don't want to hear that I would adjust for when I don't need to. So I like that 50-50 balance of hearing the trail and hearing the music. So the music's not drowning out the trail and the trail's not drowning out the music. It's a very specific balance that sounds something very similar to this. So it typically is about half volume or less. So if anything comes up, I can still hear it. So guys, listening to music on the trail through headphones has been one of those things that has drastically smoothened out and sped up my downhill runs over the years. I will say I rarely do this on group rides. There is an aspect to group riding that you specifically lose completely if you have earphones in. I like the camaraderie and the yelling back and forth, going down downhills and climbs. That's the reason you go on group rides and you don't wanna get rid of that. And two, I don't always take them with me. Some days you just wanna be out in the woods and I want to hear everything else is around me in the peace and quiet because I just needed a day out in the woods by myself. So guys, I wanna hear from you. Do you listen to music on when you go on your downhills? Has it helped you out in technical riding, smoothing things out and making you faster? What is your setup? And is it any similar to mine or is it something different? Hit up the comment section down below and let me know. If you like this video and you want some more tutorials, reviews, and tips on mountain biking, please consider subscribing to Bike198. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.